Hi, my name is Maria Norton. I'm the English Programs Manager at the British Council in Tunisia. Uh, I'm here running an event. Uh, it's a Maghreb ELT conference. Um, and we're doing this uh, particularly now in Tunisia, where we're convening four delegations of ELT practitioners from across the Maghreb. So we have representation from Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia and Libya. We're doing this because um, last year uh, there was an event, um, an Arab Maghreb Union event at Wilton House uh, that discovered that actually North Africa is probably the least connected, the least joined up region in the world. And if this part of the world could get more connected and work more closely together, it would bring great benefits uh, to all the countries concerned. Uh, for instance, um, it was stated that Tunisia would benefit, um, well, its economy would benefit by 24% if it worked more closely with its neighbours. So this Maghreb ELT conference uh, kind of feels like a first, um, and certainly that's what delegates are saying. Uh, we've got about 50 delegates um, from the four countries in the Maghreb who are here to discuss CPD and that's Continuous Professional Development and we're looking specifically at the field of language teaching uh, and we're here working alongside Professor Simon Borg of Leeds University uh, who's well known for his work on teacher cognition, on the reflective practitioner, to cite just a couple of areas of expertise. Um, and what we're doing is bringing together uh, delegations, really mixed delegations, uh, which again I think is fairly in well, it's innovative, I'll say, because in those delegations we've not only got inspectors um, that work closely with the Ministry of Education, we've also got groups of teachers from a range of the uh, broad range of the sector, so from primary, secondary, and tertiary. We've also got professors from university involved in initial teacher training present. Um, as well as teacher trainers. So a nice mix of practitioners, people that are really closely involved with English language teaching. Um, and we're here to talk about continuous professional development and to work out a framework uh, for each country to take back and to put into action. Um, and this framework, uh, it's going to have two parts to it, you see. Um, on the one hand, these are country-based uh, um, plans, a set of recommendations. Uh, on CPD to put that into place uh, in Algeria, Libya, Morocco and Tunisia. Uh, and on the other hand, it's a, on an individual basis too, because CPD is really about me or each individual um, upping their game um, and also helping others around them improve their skills. And it's about trying to be better every day. Hello, uh, my name is Mohamed Taras. Uh, university teacher at the University of Skipede in Algeria. I'm also a teacher trainer. Well, uh, well first of all, I'm very lucky to be here and then back to Tunisia after my the course uh, in the British Council Tunis. So, in fact, uh, these three days are quite uh, uh, beneficial for me as a teacher trainer and the university teacher I prepare. Teachers, I mean, students to be teachers. Um, in fact, the idea of CPD is very important. Uh, you know, and, and we learned a lot of types here uh, in CPD for the format and how to, what is our, I mean, the strategies to uh, apply them and to introduce new ones to the teachers. We learned I mean, new strategies and and what I like most is the, um, the interactive atmosphere and, and friendly atmosphere among the uh, people from the different countries. And I, I have learned a lot uh, about the other countries and what they are doing in terms of uh, CPD pitch training. I'm Eric Atkinson. I'm the Regional English Project Manager for the Middle East and North Africa region. Um, teachers are professional people. And all professional people need to keep on training, developing and learning. Continuous professional development is a very important thing for teachers. And what we have here in this meeting we're having in Hamarats in uh, Tunisia is all the important people involved in continuous professional development from four countries, Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria and Libya. We brought them here to discuss 
how they do continuous professional development in their countries, to share ideas and to develop new plans. And to help us do that, we've brought Professor Simon Borg from Leeds University, who has provided us with a lot of new ideas and a lot of stimulation and a lot of guidance in how we understand continuous professional development and how we can use it uh, to improve the teaching that goes on in the classroom. What we expect at the end of this is all these inspectors and teachers and uh, university people to have a much greater knowledge of continuous professional development and to go away with some basic plans of how they can improve this in their countries. And the benefits we really hope for this in the end is that all teachers will have greater support by their inspectors, by their universities and by their uh, whole system. So that's what we expect. That at the end of this, teachers will have wonderfully new and better support by the people in their country to become better and more effective teachers. This is Nora Menia, teacher trainer coordinator from British Council Algeria. I've come to, ELT, to this ELT conference with my colleague uh, uh, Rizlan Zouba in order to give the Algerian group to attend this conference. Uh, this conference is about uh, CPD, which stands for Continuous uh, Professional Development in ELT, uh, in ELT field. Uh, the main objectives that have been achieved so far, uh, firstly we have uh, defined what CPD uh, means in order to have common ground. Something that I have forgotten to mention is that for this ELT group, we uh, not only the Algerian group is uh, attending, we have uh, people from Tunisia, another group from Morocco, another group from uh, uh, Libya. So that's why it's called Maghreb Conference. So all of us, uh, so far we have uh, achieved a uh, few objectives. Firstly is to have a common ground, uh, understanding CPD, uh, what it means exactly. Uh, second objective was to make a list of strategies, CPD strategies, and then uh, we have had the opportunity to reflect on for each group, country group, to reflect on whether these strategies exist in the country. Uh, the third objective was about uh, uh, CPD key parameters. Uh, we have identified them. Uh, all these objectives, we have also uh, uh, focused on two strategies. Uh, so we, uh, we had an opportunity to discuss course-based uh, CPD uh, as well as school-based uh, collaborative C CPD. So we had a discussion what they are uh, like uh, and how to implement them and recommendations about them. Uh, so these discussions happened in two stages. Firstly, uh, we discussed in group country, so we reflected on, or we have reflected on whether those objectives or the strategies, key uh, uh, CPD key para parameters, whether they exist in uh, our country. And then uh, we nominated a representative from our group, uh, and we went into to the second stage of the discussion, where uh, there was cross-country discussion, so each representative from each country reported to the group uh, uh, what the situation of CPD is in the country. Today is the final day and uh, hopefully what is expected from us is to have an action plan, a CPD action plan. And uh, this action plan, we hope, it's going to be aspirational, but more importantly, uh, realistic. So each country group is going to have their action plan. They are going to go back home and try to create a network uh, within the local country as well as hopefully cross-country groups are going to have this network in order to uh, implement this action plan uh, for a better CPD development uh, in the Maghreb region. Good morning, hello everyone. 
I'm uh, Dr. Salima Maouj from the University of Bejaya, Algeria. And uh, I'm here, I've been invited. This is uh, an invaluable opportunity uh, to have been invited uh, with uh, some members uh, of the Algerian delegation in order to take profit of the project presented uh, so far by the British Council in Tunisia, Hammamet. The, uh, the project has been uh, or has focalized mainly on CPD, uh, continuing or continuous professional development. Uh, myself, I've been eager to be here in order to uh, grasp and try at least to see what CPD is about and what are the objectives behind implementing and integrating CPD within the Algerian community or educational community. Uh, what I have uh, taken as major points is that this uh, potential of developing oneself or one's teaching uh, profession is within us, within every teacher uh, from uh, all the countries that uh, uh, formed the Maghreb unity. But what we lacked really was uh, the way we will uh, put this professional development into action. Thanks to the, uh, the proponent teachers we have had from the British Council, we have seen clearly what the CPD was about and uh, what are the parameters, what are the challenges and what can teachers from the Maghreb unity can do in order to uh, put or in order to make of this CPD a successful project. Uh, as my friend or my colleague said, we have had plenty of activities Activities that not only went through our uh, personal objectives, but they uh, helped us to see what was hidden behind. Because we said, oh, this might exist in our country, so why not trying it within our educational system? The workshops has been, or have been, sorry, have been very fruitful very very fruitful and the guidance or the guidelines were very clear and uh, we hopefully uh, want to try this in Algeria and why not to give a synopsis or a synthesis of its strengths and its uh, weaknesses. Thank you very much. I'm a Libyan, I'm an inspector of English, I'm coming here to Libya. from the middle of Libya and this is the first time we, we attend to this conference and we are so lucky and we are too glad to be here and I want to, <coughs> to thank the uh, British Council and the other members who are preparing this conference now. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, I'm Mr. Siba, uh, Adel Siba from Algeria. Uh, heading a language department in the Higher Institute Management and Planning, uh, based in Algiers, um, we deliver a couple of, uh, a few, uh, a few courses, few courses, masters, MBAs, um, short courses, and of course we have the languages too. Uh, in here, uh, Hamamet, <coughs> well, I've noticed, uh, especially in this conference, uh, organized by the British Council, of course, uh, we've we've picked out. Uh, the good thing out of the Maghreb uh, and the willingness uh, to do better things in the future in terms of languages, of course I'm referring to. Uh, the workshops went excellent, uh, excellent atmosphere, uh, we interacted between each other, we learned from each other, this is, the, this is the key component to it, learning from each other, from the different experiences, 
uh, how to readjust, how to reinforce, uh, and of course, um, uh, what do we get from this? Is basically we have some homework to do uh, to inline our um, levels with the uh, international, with Europeans. Uh, why? Because the big theme is the quality. Thank you. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Philip Bashford. Um, I'm a teacher developer uh, who works freelance around the world, uh, sometimes for the British Council in Tunis and sometimes for Saudi Arabia and also in Thailand. Um, I'm here in the capacity of um, facilitating and uh, enabling some of the groups to develop their ideas um, when they separate into their regional and cross-regional groupings. Um, Overall, I found the conference to be a, a very positive experience for everybody. I think um, Simon Borg, the, the lead trainer, has uh, really encouraged development and critical thinking of the ideas on the course. Um, I feel there's been a good exchange interculturally and cross-culturally, and I feel that the participants here have really um, benefited from that, I really do. Um, overall, I feel at the end of the course that the participants should take away some good concrete ideas as well as perhaps some more long-term ideas for um, CPD in their own countries and region. Um, perhaps it would, it would have been perfect if there had been some more concrete ideas to map to the reality of their regions, but perhaps within the limits of such a short conference, you know, that's asking a bit too much. Um, I'd like to finish on a positive. I found also the, the social element of the, the, the conference to be very rewarding. In the evenings, everybody really did group together well and um, really networked and exchanged ideas and made some friends. And I thought that was a, a very positive outcome, a good vibe overall for the, the conference. So um, my name is uh, Simon Borg, I'm a professor of TESOL uh, and I work at the University of Leeds in the UK and I've been here um, in Hammamet, uh, Tunis for the past three days for an event uh, organised by the British Council which is focusing on continuous professional development um, in English language teaching and we've had um, representatives from four countries here from Morocco, Tunisia uh, Libya and Algeria and we've been working together to explore ways of promoting CBD more widely in ELT in the, in the various contexts. So my role in the event has been to uh, organize the work we're doing and to make sure participants have um, both input so they receive some new ideas on CBD but they also have plenty of opportunities to talk to each other both in country groups and in cross-country groups, so the, the structure of the day has typically, typically been some input in the morning followed by a country group discussion and a cross-country group discussion. And in the cross-country groups we've had all the inspectors from the different countries, all the teachers from the different countries in, in separate groups to share ideas and practices and to, to help each other develop um, ideas related to CPD. Then the final part of the day has normally been us coming all back together to review the work we've done and to do some final input. So it's been, a, I think, a very interesting and exciting um, experience for all of us, and that includes me, because um, I've learned a lot about uh, the work that's going on in the region in relation to EL, uh, ELT. I've learned a lot about the needs that the region has in relation to CPD. I think more importantly from the participants' point of view, um, they found it very valuable to have some space to talk to both their uh, country um, colleagues as well as to talk to colleagues from other countries about what's going on in their respective uh, sectors and regions. And I think that's been the most valuable aspect of the whole event, the, the space that participants have had to think about CPD both in their own countries and in the neighbouring countries. And we're hopeful that as a result of this event, uh, a, a network will be created through which participants can continue to uh, communicate with each other, share ideas with each other, and you know, collectively um, contribute to advances in CBD in their countries. 
By the end of the event, by the end of today that is, we, uh, we, each group is taking away with them a set of recommendations related to CPD and individual action plans um, for them to follow up once they return to their own contexts. My name is Tanya Kotta and I am the English for the Future Manager at the British Council in Libya. I think this conference has been a wonderful opportunity for ELTA practitioners from Libya, from Algeria, from Tunisia and from Morocco to come together, to work together, to share expertise, to share experience, ideas, to think about some of the challenges and also some of the solutions that they face. Uh, I hope that events like this will continue and that we can move forward uh, with creating a very strong ELT community in this region. My name is Rashid Kharoubi. I'm an ELT, ELT uh, inspector from Tunisia. I actually work in Siena. Uh, I came to this seminar full of expectations. I'm happy that I met most of them. Uh, first and most, the very first day I met a friend I haven't seen for 20 years. Um, the workshops were very well structured. Uh, we uh, made a lot of practical activities that I think vulgarized more the CPD to me. Now I know more about the CPD than I, than I used to do. Um, I have met lots of people from different regions, from Morocco, Algeria, Libya, very interesting people, exchanged, uh, uh, exchanged experience. Um, we are on the face of uh, making a network among professionals, uh, starting by Tunisia and probably moving across countries. Uh, now I come, I, I'm going to go out of this uh, event with a clearer vision on CPD and uh, with a plan, actual plan, to start to carry, to try to start as soon as I get back to my subscription. I will go to schools, I'll talk to teachers, I'll go much more often to schools for help rather for inspections. I think I'll start start small, I'll grow big. Rashida Gelzim and I'm from uh, Morocco. I am wearing two hats. I'm, I'm wearing the British Council hat as a teacher trainer and a teacher, but I'm also wearing a hat of uh, the Ministry of Education in Morocco, which is inspector, supervisor, trainer, whatever. And um, what I got from this conference, first of all, the conference was great. The, uh, the outcome was fantastic. The, uh, the people and the organization and everything just was fabulous. And uh, I'm going home with plenty, plenty of ideas to put into practice with my teachers, with my colleagues, with the fellows. And, but one, but above all, a, ne a good networking with the region of the Maghreb. Which, which, which means that from now on, there will be plenty of work to do together and a lot of things to share together. So thank you, British Council. Thank you, everybody, for the great job you've done. Great. My name is Khalid Zakari. I'm from Morocco. I'm a teacher educator, teacher trainer, school inspector, to put it flat. Um, I was expecting to get a few new things. Uh, concerning teacher professional development, continuing uh, 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 teacher development. I'm so glad because I'm going back home with a lot more than I was actually expecting. <laughs>